Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and while it might not be the longest Gospel reading, it is jam-packed. So much that I won't even be able to talk about all of it, but it's okay. We'll, we'll highlight it. It begins with, do not worry. I love those three words, do not worry. You know what that tells us and what that implies is that the Lord knows it all. He loves you so much. He's going to take care of it. He knows what's best. So why are you worrying? I have to often ask myself that question. Rick, why are you worrying? Especially if you're in relationship with the Lord, especially if you know the Lord. But it goes on in this passage to talk about how the uh, birds uh, of the field, that the Lord cares about them, but how much more are you worth to the Lord than birds? In fact, it says that he knows every hair counted on your head. And for some of us, it might not be as many hairs. But the point is that he cares so deeply about you that he even knows all of the follicles on your body. That's pretty incredible. In fact, it shows us the love and compassion that the Lord has for us. His mercy and his grace are so deep that we could never comprehend it. But there's also another reality here that we have to talk about. Because at the end of the gospel reading, we hear Jesus say that if you acknowledge him before the world and before others, he will acknowledge you before the Father. But then it ends with, if you do not acknowledge, if you deny the Son in front of others and to the world, then he will deny you in front of the Father. Again, God's mercy and grace is large. It's big. It's bigger than we can know. But there is a reality that we have to face here, is that Jesus is the Son of God. And if we try to speak of Jesus as a different God or a different person, or maybe don't even acknowledge that he is the one true God, there are ramifications to that. We have to tell others about Jesus. We can't just simply sit back. He desires a relationship with all of us, everyone that's ever been created, everyone that will ever be created. You matter. Everyone matters. And that means that we have to let people know that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit desires a relationship with everyone. Nobody's excluded. Everyone's invited. So today, who can you invite into a relationship with the Lord? Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time on Rich Reflections.